What's going on here? What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This is Aussie Van Man. What have we got going on today? We got another cooking video for you guys. Let's see what we got. Huh? What do you do with them? No, we're not doing tacos. Today we're doing quesadillas, 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 lemons. What in the hell was that all about? Today we're doing quesadillas. I hope I got that right. We're doing uh, chicken, black olives, and cheese in these ones. Of course you could have cheese in a quesadilla, I'm pretty sure, right? So we're cooking on our fancy smancy cooker, the one I told you, cooks anything, right? So we're cooking on that again today. Mr. Fancy Pants. It's quite hot, it's about eight o'clock at night and it's still about 106 degrees outside here. Uh, we had a 113 degree day today. Not very fun, I'll tell you that much. All right, so we're sitting here, I got the fan blowing on me, I'm still sweating. We're gonna get the cooker fired up shortly because these don't like, take long to cook. We just got a couple of things to prep and I'll go through that with you. Most of you should know how to make quesadillas. Plenty of you guys in Australia might not know what a quesadilla is. Basically, you get like a tortilla and a tortilla, fried crispy and then cream and apple pie on the middle you got a middle layer of like cheese and meat and diabetes goodness and stuff going on like that easiest way to explain it to an Australian would be like a uh, Mexican grilled cheese or something like that all right guys so we're just gonna chop our ingredients up as you can see here I uh, managed to uh, salvage this chicken breast this is cooked chicken breast that I got off a of rotisserie chicken oh my I'm gonna chop up that I'm gonna chop up the black olives and uh, cut up some cheese as well. I do have some shredded cheese I'm gonna add to it, but there's some other, other cheese. I want more than one type of cheese. All right, guys, we're gonna cut that up. We'll be right back with a word from our sponsor. Hey there, guys. You will get lonely on the road, lonely van life. You guys want somebody to give you meaning, existence, somebody to talk to you, somebody that listens. I present to you Pet Rock. That's right, Pet Rock. Pet Rock will listen to your needs. Pet Rock will never disappoint you. Pet Rock is your only friend. As a van lifer, I know that nobody listens to me. I know that Pet Rock is the only one that listens to me. For three payments of $10.99, Pet Rock can be all yours. Pet Rock, get it down here. Eat so separately. Bandai. All right, guys, we are back. What do we got here? All right, so we got that chopped chicken, we got the black olives, and right here, the cheese you can see, that is actually Gruyere cheese. Just think of a super rich, sharp, tasty cheese, and that's what that is. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. The Some of the best cheese you can get out there, depending on what type you're going for. But uh, we're going to be using that, and then we're going to... You know, mix it with more of a bonding agent like this uh, cheddar jack mix that we have. And that'll help bring it all together. Now you can sort of put whatever you want in a quesadilla. You know, you don't have to use uh, chicken. You don't even have to use meat. Uh, you don't have to have black olives. You can sort of put what you want. You can put mushrooms, peppers, whatever you want to put in there. You can put a pigeon in it. You can put a raccoon in it. You can put gummy bears in there. I don't know. Gummy bear quesadilla. Could be all right, who knows. Stop it, get some help. Some people like to put their salsa in the quesadilla. I got some salsa verde here. I'm not actually gonna put it in there. I like to dip it in there or put it on top. And then uh, I've got some sour cream here. We're gonna put that on top of it too. Uh, more like a topping and then eat it like in slices like a pizza. That's that's how I like it. You can eat it how you, how you wanna do it if you wanna put your sour cream and all that in there, you know, go right ahead, but I, I prefer to have it after the fact on top of the quesadilla, but that's just me. So uh, another thing you guys want to think about is uh, if you buy a tin of olives, do you have a can opener in your van? Uh, I do not have a can opener in my van, so I had to get inventive and uh, start prying it open with some tools that I had. All right, so we got the cooker heating up now. We're gonna go for a cooker view and we'll go run through the uh, item as we cook it. It's not taking long to get hot because it's already like 108 degrees in here or something ridiculous. All right, so we go on with the tortilla. Come on. Then we come in with our ingredients. 
go on with some chicken. Uh, oh, try not to get my head in the way here. Spread that out as best as you can. Go on with some black olives. I love my black olives personally. I like black olives for some things, green olives for other things. But if I had to choose, I would say black olives are definitely my favorite. All right, we go on with the Gruyere cheese. Get on with that. The uh, shredded mix. Go on with some of that. We've got some of the American cheddar. You can see that bright orange color that they add into the color of the cheese. I don't really know why they do it because it looks like a science experiment. That's just not how cheese is supposed to look, but okay. Okay, so it's as simple as that, guys. You know, I could put the salsa in, but I'm not gonna you know, put that down on the top there. Down like that. Normally I have this sitting on my uh, fridge. Fridge is out right now because it's too hot. Hiding in there, cooking away. So as you guys can see, it's uh, really, really easy to make one of these and they're super tasty, super great. And you just put a couple of toppings with it. You don't even have to have toppings with it, you know? You just eat it by yourself. But I do like my green salsa. I'll put green salsa in it. Because it's so hot, it's refreshing to have a bit of cold uh, sour cream with that. So I'm gonna go with that as well. I'm just going to make two of these because that's actually quite a bit of food. I don't even know if I'll be able to eat all of that. We'll be right back once that one's done. So uh, this is a bit of a test out. These cooking videos I've been doing. It's uh, just something a little bit of fun that I like to do. I like to eat. I like to cook. I like to be funny. Tell me guys in the comments below. Do you guys actually like these videos that I'm doing? Do you want me to keep going with the cooking videos? Or would you rather me do something else? I like to keep a bit of a variety. So the cooking videos is something that I can sort of cut it all up a bit. I'm not always doing like van life videos or other stuff like that. Um, all right guys, the cheese is melting. I'm going to cut this one up and we'll start with the next one. Alright guys, so we've finished the first one. As you can see, I've cut it up into triangles. And let's see if we can pull one apart for you. Quite hot, it's burning me. Alright, you can see the chicken, the olives, the melted cheese. And uh, we're going to put that with some uh, sour cream on top, a little bit of uh, green salsa it's going to be delish i'm just cooking the other one up right now i'm not going to bother showing the other one because it's exactly the same i partially managed to freeze part, part of my sour cream it's a little bit on the icy side that's the downside of having a, a camper fridge sometimes they get a little too cold on the sides you know some of the liquid things start to freeze all right guys see if you can see that you can see all the green salsa in the sour cream let's go in for a bite Oh my lord, that is delicious. I love salsa verde. Mm. Oh, the Gruyere. Oh, that Gruyere in there. Oh my lord, cannot go wrong. That is delicious, so good. All right guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video. So I'm really impressed with the way that my channel's been growing. Um, I'm grateful for all your support. I really hope you guys like my videos. I've been trying to put a lot of effort into these and uh, it's a it's a passion for me. Um, please hit the like button so I know you guys like what I'm doing. I'd love some comments down below. Uh, let me know on your thoughts about the video. Don't be scared to say hello down the bottom. Um, I'll answer as many comments as I can. I am noticing a uh, about 75% of you who are watching aren't subscribed so if you could hit the subscribe button that would really help me out as well. Uh, there is a link down in description for that cooker as I said before and a bunch of other Amazon products that I've bought and own. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is Aussie Van Man. We'll see you later. What's going on here?